What up, what up? Welcome to Mr. Brown's class where there's no whining and no complaining. Now, the other day we talked about functions, right? But today we're going to be talking about graphing those functions, all right? So we're going to graph functions. Now, functions we've talked about, all right? In this, in, in this video, I found a little bit better picture of a function machine that I tried to draw in the last one. Now the inputs are the X's. It's what we input into a formula, right? A function formula. And when we put it in, okay, so they're putting in these uh, balls, all right? What is the output, all right? Out come these rectangular prisms, all right? That's going to be your Y, okay? So you're gonna input one thing and then you're gonna get Another thing. So in these problems, remember how we talked about in functions, you have something like this, y equals, right? So your output equals like three x. Okay, so let's do this. Let's make a table for this over here. All right, so this is, the x is our input, and then the y is our output. So we make a table. Remember, our input can be whatever we want it to be. But we want to keep things that are going to be on the graph. All right. So in this case, let's try negative two. Right. So what we do is, right, um, y equals three times negative two. We put that number in for x. Well, what's three times negative two? Negative six. All right, let's put negative one in there. Y equals three times negative one. So notice how the X is changing. That's the input, All right? When we change the input, the output changes. So three times negative one is negative three. We put zero in y equals three times zero, all right? Anything times zero is zero, all right? Now, this is gonna go through zero, zero, so it's proportional, all right? Now, let's do one more, one. y equals three times one, which ends up being three. And we talked about this the other day. We have our coordinates here. Okay, so we have our coordinates of negative two, which is our x, and our y is negative six. So we're gonna go ahead and graph that in a second. We have negative one, negative three. We have zero, zero, which is the origin right in the middle. And we have one comma three. So let's go ahead and graph this. All right, so negative two, we go two left, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So we put a dot right there at negative two, negative six. Or negative one, negative three, negative one, one, two, three. All right, zero, zero. Right, and then one, three. Now this goes on forever, okay, on this line. It's gonna continue on. We talked about this the other day. We can put any number in here. We could put 100 in here. Doesn't show up very good. And if we multiply by three, we get 300. That's gonna be way up here off this graph. All right, at 100, 300. Okay, so let's do another. Let's do uh, y equals x minus 3. All right, so we have our input. In this case, let's do, all right, x, y equals x minus 3 here. That's like our function machine. And then our output over here, y. 
right? So again, let's do negative two to practice these, all right? So we have y equals negative two minus three. Now remember, if we subtract, we're adding the opposite. All right, so minus three is the same as adding a negative three, which is gonna be negative five. Let's try negative one. Y equals negative one minus three. Again, adding the opposite. So this is negative four. We do zero. Y equals zero minus three. All right, so this is negative three. So this is not going through zero, zero, so it's non-proportional, okay? And then one, y equals one minus three. That's gonna be negative two. Now let's go ahead and graph this. Uh, let's do the coordinates first, okay? So negative two, negative five, negative one, negative four, zero, negative three, and one, negative two. All right, so we have negative two, one, two, three, four, five, negative one, negative four, zero, negative three, one, negative two. Now you can see on these, look, we've talked about slope. Remember slope is rise over run. And notice how we go up, up on this one, three over one, three, one. So our slope is three. Up three, over one. Up three, over one. And it's gonna keep going like that. Up three, over one. Here we go up one, over one. Up one, over one, up one. And we're gonna figure that out because eventually, because we know that this number in front of X is our slope, all right? So we knew that, I knew that, all right? You will know that the number in front of X is our slope. So it went up by three over one because in front of X was three over one, but you don't have to worry about that right now. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe and like below. And remember to be more awesome.